So when Red Flag was first uh, designed, uh, we really focused on uh, fighter pilots and the weapons systems officers, but this has evolved so much today. It focuses on the full spectrum of warfare, where we're actually able to not only integrate with our allies and partners, but improve our interoperability, which again allows us to project uh, that combat power throughout the Indo Pacific. Being here at Red Flag, I mean, it's definitely been an experience. Uh, we work really hard, they really push us, but uh, we're here to get a mission done, and I'm very grateful for it. It's allowed me to get better with adapting to multiple changes, be able to come up with different solutions with others as we work together as a group in order to be able to send up our jets and get the mission done. Yeah, every time uh, we get an opportunity to come to uh, an exercise like this, such as Red Flag, um, it always brings um, good opportunities to uh, figure out what we need to improve on, what we're good at, and then kind of refine our tactics so we can be better in the future. So as I was younger, we only had a single Red Flag exercise at Nellis Air Force Base. As I've gone throughout my career, we've seen this expand to Red Flag Alaska. We've also seen this expand uh, to our allies and partners in the Middle East. So what I've seen over the years is our, our friends, our allies and partners, even our adversaries have recognized the importance of our Red Flag Alaska iterations. And today, we have so much more high-end training than we did when I was younger.